Hey everyone, welcome back to Crown Geek. In this video, I will be explaining that how to fake the site can't be reached unexpectedly close the connection, Chrome error connection. Now this problem can be when you try to open any website and you get this message like right now you can see on the screen. So I won't be discussing that what are the reasons and the causes behind this problem. Simply we will move to the solution and I'm trying to cover all the solutions so that you should go from here with a complete fix. So make sure you watch the video till the end and apply all the solution one by one. The first thing that you have to do is you need to flush your DNS. You need to reset the windsock because majority of the time this problem occurs because of the internet or the DNS issues. How you have to do on your Windows search, just type CMD and choose run as administrator so that we should have the full permission to run this command. Once the black window comes up, the first command that you have to run is ipconfig space forward slash then flush dns. Hit enter. You will be getting a message successfully flush the dns resolver cache. Now we need to release the ip because there can be problem with the ip address. So for that type ipconfig space forward slash and then release. Hit enter. The IP has been released now, so we need to get a new IP address. So we will run ipconfig space forward slash and then renew. Now this will assign a new IP address to our PC and so that if there would be any problem with the IP address, it will be fixed. But still we need to run and reset the winsock. So type another command that is netsh winsock reset hit enter and now it says you must restart the computer in order to complete the reset but we won't be applying the reset right now because first we will be applying all the solution and after that finally we will be making a restart so now simply close it and in the next step we need to restart the dns service all you have to do in the windows search type services from the suggestion choose services app and now in, here in the list you have to look for dns so scroll down until you find dns okay here it is dns client so what you have to do just need to make a double click on it and now you can see it's already running so we don't need to worry but still we need to refresh it so make a right click on it and then choose refresh if it has been stopped, then you need to start the service. But if, if it's already running, then you need to just refresh it. Now what's done, just close it. Now in the next solution, we need to make sure that the proxy has been disabled sometime accidentally or due to any reason the proxy get enabled on your PC. And that can also create such kind of issues while opening any website. So what you have to do again on the search box type proxy. From the suggestion, choose proxy settings. Now you can see that this automatically detect setting has been enabled. So what you have to do, you need to assure that this should be turned off. Okay. So if it's on, you need to turn it off. And after that, just close it. And now we also need to change the DNS server address. So we will be using the Google DNS server so that it should give you the better performance. And for that, you need to come to the search box again and type ncpa.cpl. From the suggestion, choose ncpa.cpl control panel item. Now the network connection will be coming up. Here you have to look for the connection through which you are connected. So if you are using Wi-Fi, then you have to come to Wi-Fi. But I'm connected with Ethernet. So I will just come to Ethernet and make a right click on it and choose properties. Now look for Internet Protocol version 4 and double click on it. And you will be getting this uh, box here. By default, in your case, it should be set to obtain DNS server address automatically. You need to check the option of use the following DNS server address. And in the preferred DNS service, we have to use the Google DNS IP that is 8888. And in the alternate, we have to use 884 and 4. Now click OK, then click on OK again. All right, now once done, close it. In the next step, we need to also update the network adapter to make sure that there is no problem with the uh, network adapter installed on our PC. 
Now look for the Windows icon on Windows 11 or Windows 10. You will find it. Just make a right click on it and from the list choose Device Manager. The Device Manager box will now be up. Here you have to look for Network Adapters. Double click on it and look for the one through which you are connected. Like here in my case, if you are using the Wi-Fi, just make a right click on this one Intel Wi-Fi 160MHZ and choose Update Driver. Look for search for automatically drivers and if it's you already have the updated one you'll be getting this message in case if there is any update available it will automatically go ahead and update it. So after assuring this just simply close it. Now the final step is that you also need to reset your Chrome browsing data and reset your Chrome settings. This can be possibly because of the Chrome infection so just open your Chrome browser don't need to open any website. On the very right hand top you will see the three dots just click on it and then choose settings. From the left hand menu click on privacy and security and then choose clear browsing data. Now just from set to basic choose advanced and then time range should be set to all time. Now leave password and autofill form data rest you can uncheck rest you can check then click on clear data. Now wait until it's been completed and once it's done from the left hand menu only you will get reset and cleanup. Just click on it then click on restore setting to their original defaults and then choose reset settings. Now once you are done with all these solutions simply make a restart and after that try to open the website I'm very sure your problem will be fixed. And still if you have the issues let me know in the comment section I will be surely replying to you with the another solution if possible. And if it works for you, then make sure you hit the like and subscribe to the channel. And I see you in the next video. Bye-bye.